started this race uh, 29 years ago and that's where I started and the first time I competed against Australians and and from then on I came back and won 11 and now I've got to get to that elusive 12 so it means a lot, 29 years, it's a long time. The bottom line is it's tough, the competitors are always tough and it's a uh, very hard coming into the finish once you've been going downwind to go against the wind. I first came over 23 years ago, 1989, and I've never won it, but I've always had a great time. I'll be paddling double Sersky this year, so hopefully can be, if not the first finisher, up towards the top. Big, fun, and challenge. It's been 40 years I've, I've been here and I'm learning a lot and there is still a lot to learn, but it's slowly becoming fun, but there is a challenge in there. Racing results, Zawski, I think we've got a good chance of winning the doubles and I'm hoping that we can win overall and possibly even set a record. I'm ready for it. I've done all the work, I've done all the training. Haven't got a hell of a lot of experience in it, but um, he who dares wins. So let's see, you know. For me, the reason I come back to do the race is because I've never got it right. And even although you know, we've had some good years and some flat years. Um, hopefully this year we get some good winds behind us and the tide's good. And I want to actually be able to paddle the race of my life. If I can do that, then I may not need to do it again, but I haven't quite got it right yet. Well, our strategy was to try to stay relaxed in the early part of the race. We knew it was a long race, try to just go our own pace in the first two and a half hours and then pick it up the last hour and it worked for us. Here we go. Oh, I was, I was basically following the directions from behind and the motor worked. He was pushing me in, basically at the end, pretty much. It looks like our first ski, it's got to be them. Look at that perfect stroke, the double, double ski of Greg Martin. So, Zaldo from Honolulu and Seattle. Unreal. I know this race too well, it's so hard at the end. And so in about two hours I looked down and I thought, oh, and where am I? I didn't even know. And then I caught up Bruce Taylor and I thought, okay, where's he? And he didn't say much, but I was quite comfortable. Then I saw Dean in front and I thought, okay, I can catch him easy as well. And 
I just kept on uh, going through the field. And then when I got to Portlock, I surfed a wave and then I hit my rudder. I thought, oh, gee, that was close. And then I carried on and then this last bit I was so tired and Clint Robinson was coming on at me so fast, it was unbelievable. But I just put the big gut deep and made it. Here he comes. Now, there'll be a 12 time winner of the Muay Thai World Championships. Here we go, folks. 11 time, now 12 time World Championships, 32 miles, 323. He's going to beat last year's record, Oscar Tolutsky from South Africa, Olympian, right on Oscar, on an epic kayak, one of our great sponsors here, awesome job, and coming in second place, Clint Robinson, last year's winner, and he beats his time from last year as well, he gets 331, and now he's coming in at 324. Good job, guys. Awesome, boys. I just kept running the runners and staying south um, as close as I could to the line, but uh, I just didn't have any strength in my arms to go right because I just kept cramping really badly. So, um, But, you know, the race still worked out okay, and uh, when I got to the point, Oscar got there before me and Dino was second. And uh, we come around that point in third, and I thought I was close enough if we all got even ground and no one caught waves, I thought I'd definitely catch Dean and uh, I, I, I was confident I could catch Oscar too, but uh, I caught Dean and went past him and then Oscar picked up this wave and went for about 200 metres and that just gave him enough to finish in front of me, but uh, he paddled well today, just like all the guys did. Um, you know, Oscar ended up winning it, so uh, that's a fantastic effort by him, but the top eight guys, you know, it was really close. From Molokai race of 52k, it was a really close race, so um, I think the, uh, the event, um, you know, will be extremely happy with that. Matt paddled really well. He um, he was sort of, you know, right up there till probably, I'd say, about two and a quarter, two and a half hours. He did a really good job. And then he must have just sort of hit the wall a bit in that last three quarters of an hour of the race and fell back a few spots. But, uh, yeah, he, he paddled a great first Molotov. He, he's, he's a good athlete, always has been.